<laughs> Beer guzzling joker. I can't wait to meet Roman Polanski one day. Anyway, I'm gonna do a history lesson. And I don't want to, and because the one is going to do this history lesson, I suddenly want to play guitar. I always want to play guitar, and I want to play guitar, but then it's going to make this video. And then suddenly everyone's like, oh no, 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 play guitar, play guitar, play guitar. So I'm going to go make this video. And it's, it's hard to do. And anyway, we're going to do a history lesson. Yes, a history lesson. And I was not a member of the Law and History Society in my university. Um, I don't study history. I know nothing about history, but as... The potential of prophecy, I can very easily uh, see things ahead and behind, and how it's happened before. Studying Torah. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about Adolf Hitler, and we're going to talk about the Holy Roman Empire, and we're going to talk about killing all the Jews. All of them, you know, all of them. Notice that no Muslim was harmed in World War II. I know nothing about World War One too much, but I knew something like this probably happened in World War One. They're killing loads of kids, loads of kids, burning them alive. They're doing loads of fucked up stuff. Nobody knew what World War One was about, and by the time the echoes spread after World War One about why they were fighting, World War Two happened because you can't talk about it. And this is the funny thing about it: you can't talk about it because if you talk about it, you know about it, and if you know about it, you're likely to do it. And that's where it's like, oh, well, let's put them all in gas chambers. Let's put everybody in gas chambers and just reset the earth to a standard of knowledge where nobody knows about gypsy stuff. But gypsy stuff comes back again. Again, when I say gypsy, my previous videos explain Egypt. Is where Egypt, the country, not exactly explicitly a national thing, but Egypt was. Technically, Egypt was a city. You all live in city. You We all live in cities and towns. I call everyone gypsies all the time. Some people get pissed off around me. Traveller people are not gypsies. Technically, travellers left Egypt. Travellers went off out into Egypt and travellers left Egypt and travelled around. So travellers are the opposite of gypsies. So if you don't know what a traveller is, I'm from Ireland and we have a, a, a history and a religious, very religious um, lifestyle in this country that isn't well catered for. Of people that don't stay in towns and don't want to get settled because once you get settled in a town and you start closing doors, and you start getting settled down, you get a bit corrupted, you get a bit rusty, and this is what God didn't, didn't want. God was like, I'd prefer if you went off out into the desert and Sinai without purpose, you know, without any particular purpose, and that's what happened, it's like, w what are we doing out here? It's like, eh, nothing, you know, nothing, but it's better than what you were doing back in Egypt, in a real corrupted and rusted society, gypsy society. So when I call people gypsies, I call people who are blind or ephemeral or lost to for no fault of their own just to do whatever but they're gypsies now these are different type of gypsies from the gypsies that preceded world war ii very different type of gypsy you notice that england had edward crowley working for them around these kind of, i don't know did it crowley or maybe crowley tech or something like but he was mega he was mega gypsy you know he's a super anyway all right I did get more into this because I really have a lot to say and I want to make it quick. So there was a um, a gypsy spill um, that happened in the Middle East as always, down in Syria or down in somewhere. Um, it wasn't conquested upon because back then you couldn't really get you know, They used to conquest the Holy Lands. Someone down the Holy Lands would do something and... Uh, King David e and all the royalty from Europe would have to go down and sack the Holy Land and kill them and chop the heads off and then you put the yellow and the German flag. When you, but anyway, there's a terrible amount of bad propaganda and um, I reckon it's like the, the, you know, Hegel was good with history of philosophy of history, but I think the Jews are great with history of philosophy specifically because they organised the Bible and Torah as we see it. His philosophy of history. Um, Hegel, you know, um, they know that after a hundred years or so, so say there's a war, but they know that after a hundred years after the war, there's a retrospect 
that will reveal. Like nothing remains. There's a retrospect that will reveal what actually happened. And very clever people will want to stamp out this rhetoric and stamp out this retrospect. So you people all believe that Adolf Hitler was the most evil man in the world, and that uh, Germany were the most monstrous, um, monstrous, horrible people. And it's the most fucked up cerebral, that's a very moronic term, sorry, cere I don't know a word for this, cerebral. You know when you're talking about brains, cerebral, um, like, ob objective, obje very objective stuff. But anyway, and that's quashing, that's squashing out the uh, post-war retrospect. Um, so they know what they're doing, people know what they're doing. And they have this terrible thing for blaming Jews or blaming themselves are focusing on themselves, they must be very good at this um, contra pros logic because there's nothing to do with Jews. I've said this before, <laughs> Seth, get out of my fucking house, Seth. Hey, Danny, give me that good old fucking wisdom there, white boy. And he's like, hey, Seth, get out of my fucking house. <laughs> I got you a book, Seth. Danny, you know I don't fucking read. Who the fuck is Karl Marx? He's a big black gay Jew from Germany. He's a big black gay German Jew. Ah, oh, fuck you, Danny, you kike loving fucking queer. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, getting a bit mixed up and lost here. So there was an event, an explosion, there was a heater bee, there was a thing in Syria, as there is always, you know, constantly always spring. My country has this problem too, we birth a lot of saints and scholars, and we don't know really what to do with them. If such things were witnessed in Tyr and Saddam, there wouldn't be a problem, but they're witnessed in Wicklow and Dublin and Waterford. Um, and this spread through Turkey, I imagine they usually go west, so they would have gone west through Turkey and then they hit places like um, Bulgaria. And then as you see in Chidi Chidi Bang Bang, there's this big Bulgarian gypsy Maximus number one, and he's killing his immortal wife and he's enslaving loads of kiddies. And this is a very, yeah, I like this um, post-war movie that they make, and a lot of Jews made this movie, Sound of Music, or Sound of Music? Chidi Bang Bang. Disney, you know, like the truth, you know. But anyway, um, and it spread through Bulgaria, and it spread through Romania. And that's where you get things, people that say Roman Gypsy, um, Romanians, um, from this time. And then it hit Poland, um, and in Poland, like my um, country Ireland, which is also a type of Poland, um incorporated this gypsy spillover, this burning bush, into their government and society. And they utilised it. Now, um... Oh, yeah, I didn't set it up right. I didn't set it up right. They used to go conquest the Holy Lands when they They can mirror, mirror on the wall and conquest lands. Like Vietnam was conquested because they found out they had loads of stars. They had done something. They had a heater bee and they respected their heater bee and were working with their heater bee haplessly. He just had a job and they had, were very powerful. There's loads of heater bees in Vietnam and that's why they call it apocalypse now. America conquested Vietnam. America conquested the Middle East. And America conquested Ireland. They didn't do it with tanks. They did it with tanked women. You know, and... Um, any Irish person will just bend and break instantly to a wealthy American. Oh, like, it's just like the English were wealthy and they came over and they little drummer boys for the British. I know they hate the British, but they're little drummer boys for Florida. And it's no different. Like, it's no fucking different. Absolute gypsies. Anyway, um... So uh, the spillover hit Poland, and Poland was like in the far reaches, like Ukraine, Poland were the far reaches of the Holy Roman Empire. And once the Holy, the Holy Roman Empire know all about conquest and gypsies and all this kind of crap and burning bush, so um, that's why Germany had to step in and also Russia stepped in. And Poland was kind of somewhat oblivious to why they had this kind of thing, this golden ticket. Suddenly, from the left and the right, they're all bulging in, saying, you can't do this, you can't do this. And like, oh, you're only saying we can't do this because you're probably doing it yourself. And Germany are like, yeah, not really. 
Russia more so we're communism no. no again if I tell you about being gypsy and doing weird gypsy stuff you might be prone to do it and this is where the problem comes from like you don't want to know and that's why it's so hard to deal with because if you know about it it's hard not to know about it and um, so I don't really want to tell you too much about it there's rakes of uh, mathematics <laughs> and, and So before Jesus, there was 900 years of gy absolute gypsyhood. Before Jesus. There was just a Judean king named Ahab, who um, got hooked up with this um, kind of backwards and devil worshipping Miley Cyrus or some sort of weird fucking prostitute. And uh, 900 years. Of everything sailing backwards. This is what a swastika is. That's why they had that as a symbol of citizen. A swastika is when it's all sailing backwards. Sailing backwards for Christmas. Um, it's when it's sailing backwards. And if you're trying to be a good person in these times, you'll have a very hard time. And if you're a very bad person in these times, you'll have very, very, very easy and very good times. And you can see how things can get very bad for 900 years. <laughs> with um, lots of bad people inheriting and lots of good people suffering. Um, so this was birthing and uh, this was starting and um, you know, maybe crooked cops and crooked military in Poland and crooked every I don't say crooked Poland, but you know, any country, like my country as well, has so got crooked cops and crooked military all over this now. And it's happening now, like that's what I'm saying, it's happening now, it's happening again. But, um, Yeah, so now what do you do with it, you know, what do you do with these problems? Um, my just weird point was like, yeah, the post-war criticism that um, dealing with this situation got turned into being evil. And this situation was dealing with lots of um, kitty killing, killy, kitty fucking, killing wife, slaving, pissing on things, highest profanities. And they were encouraged to do the worst things because it was sailing backwards. So this creeps up. It doesn't, it probably birthed very nice in Syria, probably birthed very nice in Iraq or Syria, spilled up through Turkey, came up and hit Bulgaria and things, and then it started turning sour people that didn't deserve the temple. People that do deserve the temple probably were down in Syria or Iraq where they were originally, but then people that don't deserve the temple, like the Bulgarian king you see in Chidi Bang Bang, get the temple, and they get very much encouraged to do things very backwards. And then it's very hard to explain that's why a swastika is backwards again that's why it was their symbol and it is a scary and strange and profane looking symbol the swastika because it is backwards as if you're going down a drain devil you're going down um, so it's not supposed to be that way when it's moving forward in um, fighting charging forward it's moving properly but it's moving backwards I can't imagine they wanted to keep that. I couldn't believe that it was, but anyway. Um, uh, yeah, no, I get called a Nazi. It was a nationalist. <laughs> you know, call themselves nationalists. <laughs> nationalists. I get called Hitler. Anyway, that's why I was saying I get called Hitler. It's like, <laughs> and probably for weird and apparent virtual good reasons, my country, like Vietnam or the Middle East, Ireland, has been conquested upon. Utterly conquested upon. Um seven or eight or nine years now we're nearly putting a cap and we were a tax haven as well for lots of euro and western trash so we just made it too easy or they made it too easy for them and the homelessness in ireland is to do with too many rich people <laughs> you know you can't rent anywhere now in ireland you just can't afford anything because just too many rich people <laughs> it's not too many poor, poor people in ireland we have a problem with too many rich people and they're worse than poor people you know? <laughs> rich people <laughs> destroy businesses, rich people devour businesses on a daily basis, devour Dublin bus will devour this, will devour that a poor person will just bother you for fucking spare change but anyway my homeland has been conquested by modern powerful gypsies 
I can't work. If I work, like I get punished for not um, wanking all day with Jezebel in the Book of Jeremiah or something. I can't work. My whole nation has been destroyed and the social fabric has been utterly ruined and um, poisoned. There's kids sitting around just masturbating on the streets. There's girls lying around on the floor. Um, you know, just acting like snakes, serpents and serpent stuff. Lying on your belly, staring through. Not consuming, not chewing food, not talking. Couldn't bow lower down though, could you? Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's, I was just pissed off. I don't know, so yeah, some hell nations, yeah. And I'm a failed art student. <laughs> and my dog got uh, put down. I had to put my dog. <laughs> lost my dog. <laughs> my blondie. <clears throat> and, um... But I'm not Hitler just because, like, this... this yeah, the Kampf and Mein, mein Glieb. Or, um, was it? Mein... 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 What was it? Mein Kreuel? Mein Mein Kreuel? Mein Kreuel? Yeah, mine are quail. Quailing, mine are quail. Um, I'm vegan. You know, uh, crappy was a vegetarian, wasn't he? Um, bollocks. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan. No, he's a big family guy. You've yeah, heard said this before. Lying on the floor, lying on the floor, that's when it's come undone. If you want to destroy Christianity, go be French and just walk away. Mein Qual. Um, history lesson, wasn't it? Yeah, no, memory. Yeah, so like, uh, and then they just burnt Belgium, you know, fucking, oh, loving it. <coughs> parlay, parlay, no, no parlay. Funny thing is, after the war, either of Germany, or not Germany, whoever it was, the Holy Roman Empire versus the uh, conspiracy, the axis of evil. And they turned that backwards as well, you know. <laughs> English army just won the war. Gypsies won the war, basically. So Hitler and Germany and the Holy Roman Emperor were trying to kill all the gypsies and the kitty fuckers. Um, oh, that's supposed to get on to Jewish Judaism. So, you know, I think in World War Two, loads of Jews were killed. Oh, loads of Jews. Um, loads of gypsies were killed. And loads of Jews happened to be gypsies. And um, they can have an ancient ancient records and things and some of these things were things they were not supposed to see and things they're not supposed to know but these Jews are very good at dealing with this knowledge you see, the Jews are great at dealing with their knowledge however Gentiles are not great with dealing with their knowledge and that's why I always wanted to have a t-shirt saying don't feed the Gentiles because um, Solomonic Temple like, like you know Judean royalty were supposed to be they just wouldn't let vegan King David be King David but they were more than happy all you know, the gypsies were more than happy to um, give Solomon all the you know wisdom drugs women and everything he'd ever fucking want Solomon and that's what his, Hitler also wanted to destroy it was like all the Solomonic Gentile shit all the Masonic temples and they all span from Solomon um, Solomonic spill <laughs> the spill of King David he saw her bathing on the roof, and she was like... Mm. <laughs> he had no good lordship. King David was the birth of saints. So then, through then, we had stability under lordship. But he had no good lordship, really, at the time, himself. And he had to suffer this. I suffered this all the time. It was <laughs> terrible. But, um... Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Beautiful Persian lady with a beautiful bust, bathing naked in the moonlight. Sir, test needed proof. Sir, bathing on the roof. Beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. Damn it, 
to the cookie chair You break my heart and cut my hair From the voice I drew Hallelujah 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 That's a pretty good chant So he never burnt all that shit as well, you know, all the masons. And being black gay Jew, nothing to do with anything, just about gypsy stuff, things you weren't supposed to know. Things you weren't supposed to see and things you weren't supposed to know. And if you knew about this, it's in everything. And currently, actually, at your climate and time in life, you are all depending on AI, Alexa. And this is like... It's the crystallization of things you're not supposed to see and things you're not supposed to know. And it's on Etsy, and it's in everything, and it's absolutely everywhere. And I realize it's going to engulf your entire world. And there won't be humans left. And it'll be thy kingdom come, <laughs> that will, thy will be done, that it is on earth as it is in heaven. And there won't be any of us, there'll just be Alexa <laughs> left. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it wasn't to do about Jews, but um, Jews have a higher um, potentiality of being gypsy because they know lots of stuff. So that's how you say it. Jews aren't gypsy at all. Jews are very reverent and very um, respectful scholars of, um, lot, uh, of most things. Massively respectful. But because the knowledge, again, the knowledge... The potential of knowledge. I have a video about this, the knowledge and the fruit of knowledge. And the reason is actually that you fell from grace, true knowledge. You fell, true grace. I know where the shopkeeper keeps his key. You don't care for sweets, but you went and robbed him just because you knew about it. Um, yeah. It's not cracked up what it's meant to be. And <laughs> what's funny about it is. I got mixed up with the worst people in the world that only wanted to know about knowledge. <laughs> knowledge, knowledge, nully, nully, nully. Um, so I, I wanted, <laughs> this is not the video I wanted to make, but I, um, how I want to wrap up is um, that Hitler was not an evil person. He did kill those, to be honest, I couldn't stomach that. I couldn't do that. I do watch documentaries, and some of them are very biased in BBC. And, um, very biased. BBC is terrible. I used to love the BBC, and now it's just gone crap. Absolutely crap. I can't believe. I know the sun aren't BBC, but still, like, British media. S Russian snuff. I don't see Russian snuff. And the BBC are terrible. You know, I used to love the BBC, but they're gone pretty crap altogether and then I see that same rhetoric in the post-war documentaries I see that same rhetoric so you can say anything this one but what actually was supposed to happen what is everything was supposed to say like it was supposed to be revealed no matter who won the war world war two it was supposed to be revealed and there was supposed to be social protection like these things were meant to be brought to light no matter who physically won wars things were meant to be brought into light and brought to light. but at the same time gypsies won the war so they're brought into light and brought in respect so now they're in your play schools <laughs> and it's legitimised and now they're in your courthouse and it's legitimised and now it's in your everywhere and it's legitimised instead of being illegitimised so that's not what happened Everybody knows now, but uh, <laughs> they're not Hitler. <laughs> Wouldn't have a wife. <laughs> I can't keep on. Jesse Jensen <laughs> leaning on my shoulder. Um. Yeah. Um. It's a sailor man's life.
Yeah, so the, um, what I want to say is po post-war rhetoric and blatantly, desperately stomping out the retrospect. That Adolf Hitler was not an evil person, or, or, or the Reich, or the East or the Reich, or the Holy Roman Empire. And they were trying to prevent a massive gypsy influx. And all the royalty in Europe and all the other blues were also gypsies. I have a video I'd like to reference here called How to Inquire Like the Third Reich. I would like you to watch that video. How to Inquire Like the Third Reich. It's a funny video. But I basically this went around saying, Are you a gypsy? And like the royals were like, No, we're not gypsies. It's like, oh, well, then help us if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And everybody agreed. And then when their backs were turned, everybody conspired and was like, no, we're going to stay kitty fuckers and <laughs> worshipping Jezebel and exploiting it. And they all turned together and destroyed um, the good guys. <laughs> the good guys, the good guys. The English army just won the war. <laughs> and so then you have a post-war world where gypsies kind of reign, are harvesting your children. It's very common and blasé and encouraged. Psychiatric wards. Centers for children with autism. You're all stars now. In a dope show.